Hey, what's going on? You know who it is. You know what it is. All right, you guys, peep game. Now, y'all know that I usually don't listen to nothing this dude has to say because a lot of times this dude just basically doesn't keep it 100. He keeps it more 25% than he does 100%. But every once in a while, you know, just like everybody, I may not care for certain people, but every once in a while, if somebody says something that I agree with, I give them their props. No matter how much I may not care for them as a person or individual or what their um, mission statement is as far as, you know, being on television and social media. But I will give them their just due. So I want you to listen to what Stephen A. Smith has to say in regards to Canelo Alvarez. He recently did this on his podcast I'm going to let you hear what he has to say, and then I'm going to come with my personal opinion, and then I'm going to close the video out. So check this out. Hello. What the hell are you talking about? Will you stop? That's just BS. Anybody who knows boxing, everybody who watches boxing knows that David Benavidez is the real deal. Now, that doesn't mean he beat you. Because anybody could fall if you catch them right. We know who you are, Canelo. You big time. But you getting ready to fight. And go on. Listen, the brother's 43 and 0. So he's a nice opponent. But that ain't what America has been asking for. That ain't what the boxing world has been asking for. The boxing world, Canelo Alvarez, has been asking you to go in the ring against David Benavidez. Who's undefeated, a knockout artist. Has smoked everybody in his path. He's undefeated and he's been asking for you. And oh, by the way, Canelo Alvarez, you can get 150 million for fighting David Benavidez. No, I don't think so. The Latino population alone will ensure that you get that fight. Yo! No. We all know it. And you don't get to say that when you just finished fighting Charlo. The Charlo that was two weight divisions lighter than you. You don't get to say something like that. You don't get to say he's nothing. He's, he happens to be a champion who's a knockout artist, who's undefeated at your weight class, as opposed to two weight classes smaller like Jamal Charlo was. Jamal Charlo, that's, that's what it is. You fought him. He fights at 154. You fight at 168. But you still got in the ring with him. Why won't you get in the ring with David Benavides? Again, I'm not saying you'd lose. What I'm saying is, there's a damn good chance you could. And if you could, that makes it for an epic fight. Everybody wants to see you against David Benavides. Everybody. Don't do that to us. If you want to make him wait and say, I want to make this money, fine, even though you made gobs and gobs of money and the contingent will follow you wherever you go because you're that big time, you're that box office. You fought Bavall. Who was asking for that? Nobody cared about that fight. You get ready for him and go. A lot of people ain't clamoring for that. When you decided to fight, Char fight Charlo, people weren't clamoring for that. Facts. Canelo Alvarez versus, and for respect for the sport, which I know you have, Canelo, I'm not accusing you of not having that, but for respect for the sport, at least talk about giving that Mexican monster, which is what Mike Tyson calls him, fair use, fair use. Say what you will about I am Mike. He is 57, bro. He is the full speed heavyweight champion of the world. And the only time Mike Tyson didn't fight people was when they were running from him. He ran from no one. Canelo Alvarez, you are elite. You are big time. No doubt about that. But it is clear with what you're saying that you are ducking Benavides. Not because you haven't fight him, but because of the words that you're using. He's nothing. He's nothing. You know better. You know better. Fight that man. That is the fight we want to see with you. We don't want to see a fourth fight versus Triple G. We don't want to see you fight another one of the Charlos. We don't want to see 
Terrence Crawford moving up three weight classes to fight you. We want you to fight right where you are against that dude in your weight division who's been begging for a shot at the crown. David Benavides deserves that. Anybody who respects boxing knows he should be the man. Okay, so I wanted to stop it right there. I mean, I I I get what what he's saying, and you guys heard enough. But well, Stephen A. Smith is wrong um, on the point where the hundred and fifty million dollars is there. That kind of money ain't there for Canelo. If Turkey Alashik is not willing to give Canelo that type of money, then um, the will the Mexican fan base um, give Canelo that type of money? Well, first of all, it's not their money to give Canelo. They can buy tickets and they can buy pay-per-views, but, you know, that type of money is not out there for Canelo. And that's just real. I agree with him what he said on the on the fights, past fights, because, like I said, I broke down Canelo uh, past few fights. Canelo ain't been giving us fights that we've been cam- clamoring for. Um, is he elite? Well, um... Once again, it's a big question mark, imaginary question mark about whether Canelo's elite. Canelo's a good fighter. I would be lying if I said Canelo, you know, isn't a good fighter. But is he elite? Well, that remains to be seen because basically um, he's elected not to fight what you would call the best guys out there. He hasn't done that in a while. Like I said before, it was a question of whether Triple G was one of the best guys out there because Triple G, I thought Triple G was was very overrated. But, you know, nevertheless, uh, Canelo gave us that fight. He gave us uh, two fights with Triple G that was warranted and then a third one that nobody asked for. But it's just time to tell the truth about Canelo. He's gotten away with this far too long. But I think people need to keep putting pressure on, on Canelo Telling him to give David Benavides his shot. You know, David Benavides is going to have to go full-fledged uh, Clubber Lane. He might have to just follow him and be like, you ain't fought nobody. I'm the number one contender with me. I am the best. You ain't fought nobody. But I, I know David Benavides, he, he's not going to do that because he respects Canelo. But my thing is, you know, Canelo doesn't respect him. And for him to sit up there and say that he's nobody, I was like, okay, so John Ryder was somebody. Okay, John, John Ryder, who just got stopped by Jaime Ugia. I, I mean, come on, Canelo, just stop the cap, man. I've said this for years. You know, um, I just think David Venavia's style is just terrible for Canelo. I, I just think it's a terrible style for Canelo, and I just think he he would get overwhelmed by David Venavia's because David Venavia's could fight Canelo on the inside. He could fight Canelo on the outside. It's just that... Um, and then Canelo is flat footed. I just think his, you know, I just think David Benavides would be able to, you know, penetrate Canelo's defense. Cause you know, Canelo likes to go to the high guard. And I just think when Canelo tries to do the high guard and counter, I just think David Benavides will just, you know, rack start racking him to the body to get Canelo to open up to unleash those combinations. I just think it's just a bad style for Canelo, and I think Canelo knows it. And I just think Canelo just don't want the embarrassment of possibly getting not only beat by David Benavides, but getting stopped by David Benavides. For people to act like it's out of the realm for Canelo to be stopped, stop it. Anybody can be stopped. Keep in mind, Sugar Shane Mosley lands that same punch he landed on Floyd Mayweather a third time, then Floyd Mayweather gets knocked out. Sugar Shane Mosley came very close to knocking Floyd Mayweather out, but Floyd Mayweather, given his ring IQ, he grabbed Sugar Shane Mosley to basically, yeah, you, you know, um, hold on to dear life basically so he can get his scruples back. But Floyd was hurt bad. Like I said, Sugar Shane Mosley lands that punch one more time. He knocks Floyd out. And that's just real talk. But I think that's what's going on with Canelo. Canelo just don't want to pass the torch. And that's just basically the bottom line. And that's unfortunate for Canelo, whether Canelo likes it or not, we going to remember this. Now I think 
you know, I talked to Goodfellas Sports TV. He believed that there's a ray of hope that basically that Canelo is just going to be pressured into fighting David Benavides. But here's the thing. I want Canelo to fight the best David Benavides. No, you know, rehydration clause, none of that stuff. No catch weight. Let David Benavides fight him at the, you know, fight him at his best. When he said, oh, all he brings is 25 pounds. So we all know that that's Canelo's plan. But I hope he doesn't do it. But if I'm David Benavides, don't be so desperate to fight Canelo where basically you handicap yourself. You know, it is what it is. But that's all I have to say. This is your boy Town Biz. I'm out.